third presentation by Chris, Christopher Flatley. He's from uh, Gothenburg University in Sweden, and his talk title is Genome-Wide Association Study that Reveals a Genetic Overlap Between Placental Weight, Birth Weight, and Diabetes. Christopher, please. Thanks, Dr. Echo. Go ahead, please. Thank you. So we know that a healthy placenta is crucial for a healthy pregnancy. High and low placenta weights have been shown to increase the risk of preterm birth and are also associated with birth weight deviations, both of which are strong risk factors for diabetes. While there's plenty of studies into placenta weight, there's little research into the genetics of human placental growth. We at the Egg Consortium performed the first genome-wide association meta-analyses of placenta weight to identify lysia in the fetal, maternal, and paternal genomes. We identified 32 fetal, four maternal, and two paternal loci, reaching a genome-wide significance. Of the 37 distinct loci, 23 co-localized with birth weight, and 14 were novel. Of the nearest genes to the identified loci, 12 were also implicated in diabetes. Of particular interest is the ADCY5 gene on chromosome 3, which has a strong association with type 2 diabetes. In fact, the top SNP in the ADCY5 gene for placenta weight was the same top variant for type 2 diabetes. Using results after determining the independent fetal, maternal, and paternal effects, the left plot shows a genetic correlation between so, placental excuse weight. Excuse me, Christopher, but uh, we're not seeing your slides. Could you try to advance them, please? Uh, is that better? Yeah, now, yeah, very good. Now we're seeing your first data slide. Go ahead and okay, be brief, sorry. please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we identified 32 fetal, four maternal, and two paternal loci, reaching genome wide significance. Of the 37 distinct loci, 23 co localized with birth weight, and 14 were novel. Of the nearest genes to the identified loci, 12 are also implicated in diabetes. Of particular interest is the ADCY5 gene on chromosome 3, which has a strong association with type 2 diabetes. In fact, the top SNP in the ADCY5 gene for placenta weight was the same top variant for type 2 diabetes. So after you Using the results after determining the independent fetal, maternal, and paternal effects, the left plot shows a genetic correlation between placenta weight and type 2 diabetes. The fetal genome in green has a negative correlation between placenta weight and type 2 diabetes, while in the orange, the maternal genome has a positive correlation. The plot on the right shows the betas from the regression focusing on the SNP in the ADCY5 gene. We again see opposing effects for the fetal genome compared to the maternal genome. So the opposing effects that we are seeing in relation to type 2 diabetes and the ADCY5 gene is in line with the fetal insulin hypothesis. This hypothesis suggests that lower birth weight and adult onset, onset type 2 diabetes are two phenotypes of the same genotype. We know that insulin is a key intrauterine growth factor and genes that influence a decreased fetal insulin causing lower birth weight, also affect the capacity to secrete and respond to insulin later in life, increasing the risk of type 2 diabetes in adulthood. But not only are the genetic correlations consistent with the fetal insulin hypothesis, they also support the role of fetal insulin, either directly or indirectly, in the, reg in the regulation of placental growth and not just fetal growth. Our results from this study of common genetic variants support previous observations from offspring with rare G GCK or glucokinase mutations, which are also associated with both reduced fetal insulin and reduced placental weight. Okay, thank you very much. If you would uh, simply drop your slides now. I'm sorry, I don't think we're gonna have time for any questions. I think we need to move on because of time. So thank you very much, Christopher. No problem, thank you.